match problem five is similar to match problem four, we're given the derivative of our revenue function, so the marginal revenue function. What we want to do is use this information to find our actual revenue function so that we can determine what's our revenue at a production level of 1,000 units. So the reason we might start off with a marginal revenue function is because it's usually easier to track how your revenue is changing from month to month, week to week, whatever period you're looking at, versus looking at total revenue. So depending on what information you start off with, it might be easier to construct that marginal revenue function and to work your way back to the actual revenue function itself. So to start things off, we'll find the integral of our marginal revenue function. which will be 400x minus 0 0.4 times x squared over 2 plus some constant c, or 400x minus 0 0.2 x squared plus some constant c. So again, we have a general equation here for our revenue function our revenue function will be 400x minus 0.2x squared plus some constant c. And what we need to figure out is what this constant value is. So the other information we're given in the problem is that no revenue results at a zero production level. So what we're saying is our function has to pass through the point 0, 0 which is sort of just a common sense point. If we're not producing anything, we're not gonna make any money. So if we plug in zero for our total revenue, and then zero for each of our x values, 400 times zero will give us zero, minus 0 0.2 times zero will give us zero, plus c, which means that our constant in this case is equal to zero. So our revenue function, is going to be equal to 400x minus 0.2x squared. Now, if we want to find our revenue at a production level of 1,000 units, we can evaluate that revenue function at 1,000. So we'll take 400 times 1,000 minus 0.2 times 1,000 squared. So at a production level of 1,000 units, we have a revenue of $200,000.